Mr. Transformers 96 here with another video where I'm going to talk about some newly shown items from New York Toy Fair 2019. This time we have Corvus Glaive and Ebony Noir. Um, both of these figures have been shown before, of course. However, it's been a while since we've seen them, and uh, we have really nice close-up good images of the two of them, so I definitely wanted to talk about them. And then we do have a couple of rumors about how they're going to be released. Uh, so I believe that it is confirmed that Ebony Maw is going to be released in a regular series. It's going to be an Avengers series, uh, but there's no word on whether it's going to be the first or second series for Avengers, I believe for Endgame. So I'm not 100% sure uh, you know, when the series is going to come out, but it should be within the next couple of months, I would assume, for Ebony Maw, which is exciting. Uh, for Corvus Glaive, he's rumored to still be being released in a two-pack, um, but with a Loki figure that will be Walmart exclusive, which is interesting. Uh, Loki... I've got enough movie Lokis that I don't really need another one, so I would have much preferred the two of these characters came in a two-pack together. That would have been really nice. Uh, or give Corvus Glaive, have him come in a two-pack with a, an altered version of um, the Cole Obsidian Build-A-Figure that uses the same arms and head but has like the more accurate chest and legs. That would have been really nice too. Uh, but nonetheless, no matter how we're going to get them, I am very excited to get them. Uh, as far as the detailing on Corvus Glaive, really wonderful. On both of them, the detailing is great. Um, heads Sculpt-wise, Corvus Glaive looks pretty good. I feel like his head is a little bit more rounded than it should be. I wish that it was stretched out a bit, a little bit more um, angular, and uh, and therefore, you know, put his cheeks in a bit closer. I, I think that the proportions in his face are a little off, but I do like the expression a lot. And then he just has wonderful detail throughout. His costume is really cool. I love the, the shredded look to it. And then his weapon does look very nice as... Uh, uh, also, and then his hand looked really good. I like all the claws there. They look nice. And then paint wise, I think it looks nice. He's got like this black or kind of dark gray uh, uh, base, and then it's it's kind of detailed in this goldish uh, texture or not not texture, but goldish coloring, which really makes the detail pop in the um, in the outfit section, which is very nice. As far as Ebony Maul, Ebony Maul looks really cool, and the way that he's positioned here, you get a nice understanding of his articulation. Looks like his ball joint upper torso is going to be uh, very flexible, which is great. I always love that. And then I do like his hand. You can kind of put it up uh, in, in front of his mouth, so it looks like he's doing the I kind of kind of shh uh, stance uh, that we first saw him doing in the trailer for Infinity War. Um, but he looks very nice. The head sculpt looks really good on him. I really don't have any complaints about the head sculpt. And uh, overall, he looks really great. His hand, his, his left hand I like, although it looks a little bit big. I think his hands are a little bit big in general. Wish that they were a little bit smaller to be more proportionate with the body, but they're not too terribly bad. It's the right hand though that just looks odd. Uh, it looks like his. I, I feel like you need a bigger separation right here uh, so that his fingers look a little bit longer. At because right now it just looks like he has really big hands with these tiny stubby fingers. Uh, just on his right hand, his left hand looks okay, but the right hand kind of looks like that, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, but overall, I think the two of these look wonderful. I'm very excited to get both of them. And, uh, yeah, I cannot wait to see, um, how they will end up being released and, uh, definitely getting the two of these to finally complete our Black Order collection. It's taken a year, but eventually we will complete them, which is nice. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of these new, uh, figures from New York Toy Fair 2019, and thanks so much for watching.